good morning today we are going to do another fun experiment for everybody All right. we need two cups one soda can and, and that's it and that's it okay what are we gonna do we're gonna try to make the bottle this this can jump from here to here are we supposed to touch it or hold it no we're no? supposed to use our our mouth to blow here between the bigger cup and the, and the can. So okay. It's supposed to do. And also, if you make it, that's good for you. We are going to make this can jump from one cup to the other without holding it or without touching it. Ready? That's Daniel is going to start the challenge first. Are you ready? Yes. All right, go. Let's see if Eldon can do it. Maybe we'll move the cup a little bit here. Yay! You did it! Awesome! Hi. I'm going to try. Alright, I think I can do it. Last try. Yeah! I got the white thing. <laughs> what happened was when we when we blew the the pressure around here, the air pressure around here became less, but the pressure under the bottle right here was still high, therefore making the bottle jump. It's correct. This can will not be able to jump from this mug to the other mug without our help. When you blew on the side of the cup, the air molecule moved faster, therefore the air pressure there is smaller. Now, if we compare that pressure underneath, the air molecules underneath the can is much greater because they are not moving as fast as the air molecules on the side, making the air pressure to push the can and jump up. That is the experiment today. We will see you again next time. Blackout.